welcome to part three of Bridge in the Woods. On this piece of semi-gloss cardstock, we'll be building up our color scenario, starting from thin to thick media. This first base layer that I'm laying down is with dye-based inks, and will establish our lighting scheme, color scheme, and our shading. We'll build up our colors incrementally, from one color to the next, not taking a big jump in between colors. What this does is it makes the process nice and easy, user-friendly, and it establishes a deep, rich saturation in both areas and objects. When you start moving into your mid-tone to darker tones, you start establishing your shadows more and more. This ochre tone gives the scene a nice, deep, rich, warm glow. Establishing some greens throughout the grassy meadows and on top of some of the trees. Moving into alcohol markers. Alcohol markers are um, a good way to add in colors and layering into areas that are a little bit more detail-oriented. Colored pencils are even more detail-oriented with their sharp tips. You can establish nice, nice uh, color gradations and texturing uh, wherever you want to. Acrylic paint pens can bring back the highlighting and shimmering details in both uh, these deciduous trees and on the grassy meadow. We're using a three millimeter paint pen here. And then we'll follow up with some 0.7 millimeter extra fine tip pens. Highlighting some areas on the fence to make it look more three dimensional. And finally, going in with some white pigment ink to give the whole area kind of a nice soft glow and kind of lend itself to a more whimsical looking appearance. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed seeing this process here in quick form. To watch the full version of this, check out the Stanscapes YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.